Here we go. All right, so um, kind of new segment to the channel here. Um, I was talking to Rich, you know, the other day, and like we used to have these conversations in the shop. We go back and forth about like what we're doing and sort of bouncing ideas and information off one another. Uh, we don't work together anymore, really, so that doesn't happen. Um, and I was thinking that it'd be good to add to the channel, maybe pull in Rich, and we could start bouncing ideas back and forth on the things we're doing. And, to, and then, you know, we met up with Daniel earlier. Uh, Daniel's doing some good stuff, too, so he's over here as a guest. He's, you know, sitting by, ask questions, you know, and chime in where he wants. Uh, so today we're going to run through uh, Wire again. I spotlighted it on the channel a couple days ago. I just wanted to take a look at it again uh, and then talk to Rich uh, as we get through it. And then he's going to kick off some uh, some of the things that he's doing with the Cubby Call stuff. So we're, we're going to start kicking that. So here we go with the Wire. All right, so the other day... The, on the 25th is when I spotlighted it, right? So here it was, right? Like above the fan, day two. So, you know, like I've been talking, man, like I do the two-day ver validation above the fans, and then on that next day, if it's up, I'm going to buy in. I didn't buy in on this one, though. I don't know I don't know if you guys did or not. Uh, but it was like way the hell up here. It's too high. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah, you're talking to like gapped up. Yeah. Uh, so you're you're waiting to like confirm it that it's in a you know it's it's going up right like I want to see it respect the fan line right so I'm using that second day like okay so here's day one and then day two I'm like all right cool it respects this fan line on day three I want to buy in but I only want to buy in if it's like in this area right because it went way the hell up here so I got I was like no I'm not gonna buy I think this day. It was a crazy day. This was the day I texted you, right? And it was like 9% or some shit. Yeah, that's a hell of a spinning top. Yeah. You know? yeah that thing, is... what the hell was the movement? I was like, what, 137 to 140 almost $10 in one day? Yeah. Look, it, it had a good <laughs> earning. It reported earnings on the 25th. So it did like surprise at 46%. And then had, oh, wow. had some good revenue. I think, uh, that plus nine percent there for the revenue surprise so it killed earnings on this day that's why it gapped open like it did and then it what went, is wire is that a electronic wire? no they they make um they make on wire, they, wire. They, yeah they make wire like uh like, copper, wire? like copper wire yeah, yeah. Mm. but then so it's starting to fall back down so i think I think this day was a reaction to earnings. Like that's why it went up nine percent and did all this crazy shit, and now it's falling back down. So now I, I have it as because I still think it respects this line here. Mm -hmm. if you think it's gonna bounce? You're gonna wait till it bounces off that line. On Mon I'm not even gonna wait for that. On Monday, if it opens above this line, like not in the green area up here, but above this line here, I'm gonna buy that shit. I'm gonna buy it. I'm thinking. If I, like so, oh yeah, we'll, we'll say here we go Monday. I don't know. We'll say it opens like right there. Jeez. If I would have put it put this about here, because I'm looking kind of at this area here. <laughs> what, what are you thinking? Or would you go even? You're gonna further? risk thirteen percent. Yeah, yeah, I think I am. But so you're you're only doing what. Your your portfolio, like you're only putting like what five percent or something in each stock or well, something. Fourteen percent. Fourteen percent. Yeah. Which is like three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, three, three dollars. It's three dollars and fifty cent. All right, I've been making some right. money. <laughs> you're not, you're not, you got those. You got those winners last week. I did. I got a. I got a few. So I could do that. So, or I could even. We could do it the other way. So I've been thinking about the other way too. Like if I did this. And what does this look like? Is this all new to you? Uh... Yeah, so like I've never seen one of these, like this layout, this chart. But from my, so what I'm understanding is you're you're trying to not necessarily predict, but follow the the slope yes. of <clears throat> yeah, you know, the stock. So there's this there's this video that's like <laughs> forty minutes long. <laughs> yeah, it's, 
It's an absolute fucking horrendous. Like, if you ever have kids, that's the one way to punish them is make them watch that video. I, know? I look at the other. I think it's a must read. It's like top ten. Uh, yeah. Top ten. Uh, but if you're ever sitting on the shitter and, uh, you know, it ain't coming out as quick as you thought it would. I got five, you know, I, I, I got five views in that video. Five. Yeah, that was me. Like, I was trying to, like, I was opening it and I was trying to, like, fast forward it and, like, close it. I don't know. I fucked that up, but. Yeah. So he there's a 40 minute video on his page. Uh, that he, the, the 15 minute video is probably the one he wants to watch because I do have a small video that explains all this. But yeah, essentially these are they're called Gan fans, right? And what the idea is is that they're going to uh, predict market movement. So mm-hmm. I will when I do it. I mean, you watch the video, but it looks yeah. back six months. I look at all this stuff. I set these fans up, and then from there, that's what I was talking about: respecting the lines. So if it's above these lines, then it, sh- it has a better, better than not chance of continuing that momentum. But you can see, it's not, it's not guaranteed. Like if you go back and look historically, like this one, it was respecting it. it looks like it's respect. Now, if you if you would have bought in here, then the next day it like lost its ass you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so then also you're waiting for it to get higher to to buy in to it so i'm watching the momentum stuff um so like how high it goes isn't necessarily important to me like i don't like that it's up here um so the way so the the color in the background that's the fibonacci retracement um Mm -hmm. this yellow I, I call it the golden zone that's what i want to buy that's what i want to trade at so we can look back so wire i bought wire three times already uh so i, I held it for a day here and made nine percent sold it it dropped down then i bought back in and i held it for i don't know like a week and a half here made 12 percent um so it's 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 the same principle as buy low sell high i mean yeah. it's just <laughs> It's very uh, micro scale. It's very fine tuned to bounce off what we're gonna call support and resistance lines. So mm-hmm. is so Jerry here is very uh, he he's he doesn't like to lean on his intuition too much. Like he I likes to that. lean on the math of it. I feel that sometimes the gut feeling just doesn't work. Yeah. Well, I mean. Teach their own, right? So, <laughs> so this is his style. Like, this is solely his style, hmm. right? So, he took a liking to these fans, which are like geometrically placed, right? And it's forty-five. It's got angles. I don't know what level of math that is, trigonometry or some shit. <laughs> it's got angles, and it's got all this stuff. And then the the green and yellow and red, the stoplight chart there. That's basically another math scale, right? So it's all math. But mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's he's looking at it as if like um, those are like the foundation of his support and resistance. But he's also putting in a little little bit of intuition in there, right? He's just sprinkling okay. a little bit on top, but not too much. Right. My and style, sure. on the other hand, is like all intuition, no math. <laughs> and uh, and uh, <laughs> if it works, it works. Yeah. yeah. Well, for me, it hasn't been working too well, but. <laughs> Uh, his is, I mean, the so far average record. Um, I think you what lost two out of what twelve different buy-in. Yeah. Crazy yeah. Shit. So, so you're you're killing it. Like you're at eighty percent uh, wins. You know. So like last here's AMN. So I bought this one last week. It uh, well not last week. I held it. I sold it last week. Made nine percent. Again, like this one, I'd bought in. <laughs> Uh, what did I buy it? Oh, I bought it in here. This one was one of those that uh, I just had money on the sidelines. <laughs> and I was like, man, I need to buy into something. It's good enough. Uh, I saw that it was above this Fibonacci line. So I was like, you know what? We're going to roll the dice. It worked out. Um, Could have went the other way on me for that one. Um, so then also what you're doing, though, besides the stock itself, you're also checking and monitoring, like, the company itself and what they what they do and if they're actually progressing. Oh, well, just the stock? You, so, yeah. you use websites for that, right? Analyst ratings and all that? Well, yeah, I guess there's this very small, like whenever, um, so when I'm 
at the very beginning of selecting the stock to even make it onto my watch list. Um, I do do a little bit of um, fundamental analysis, you know, where I'm looking for, uh, I have screeners that I'm using that are looking for very specific uh, stocks, right? Um, and then I'm bouncing all those off different um, websites that give you, you know, like what's the 12 month, 12 month target price. I'm only looking at stuff that's gonna make 15% or more. I'm looking at, um, you know, things that analysts are valuing, like the strong buys. Uh, and then I'm looking for stuff that's like at the top 10, like top 10 in their industry. Um, and if it makes it, like I've got probably like five different layers when I screen them. If it makes it through all those layers, then it gets to my watch list, right? Once it's on my watch list and I get to this part where I'm on the charts, I'm no, I'm no longer looking at like fundamental stuff. I'm only looking at uh, technical analysis. It's when okay. I'm, when I'm gonna buy in or not? Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, that's real advanced. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's been working. Here's a let's see here. Oh, you want to see my loser? This was this was one I kind of rolled the dice on. Um, oh, Jack on. Yeah. So this was learn. I bought it here. So this one, uh, it was going off of the chart, right? Like it was oh. like. Even when I bought it, I was like, ah, I don't know. I mean, it's doing very good, but it's like way up. And it almost it almost got there. And I, I set this kind of small. I only put a 6% loss in there. Uh, and it almost hit it on this last day. And then what happened is it reported earnings. And it reported a negative 302% earnings per share. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So, no wonder everybody bailed out. Yeah, so the next day, it, I, as soon as it opened, it sold for me. I, I lost like 24%. Um, and then it continued down another like another 6%. So it went out like oh. minus 30%. Uh, oh, and, no. Yeah, so, <laughs> and it's, it's funny. So it was all the way above the chart here. And now it's all the way below the chart here. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's crazy how that one did. But I mean, it did the same thing the last earnings season when it when it won so that's interesting earnings is always crazy i hate playing earnings uh yeah so you got screwed by earnings i just got screwed by earnings i don't think trading around earnings is a very good idea right yeah i don't know i mean i've i've made a lot of money on earnings though too Abby? yeah you, you never know because i've had i've had some on the opposite that earnings came out and it's like they killed it and then it gaps up like 16 percent, you know whatever what are you doing over there with the uh covered call stuff uh let me see uh, i gotta i'm on chrome right now so all my passwords aren't saved in here mm. <laughs> yeah we're just sharing with the audience you know don't worry <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have that that notes that uh, that app or that um, yeah that note on my phone. I have like all my passwords and like usernames listed because like it's just too many to keep up with. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see here. I'm gonna try to give me a sec. I gotta log into these things. Yeah, that sounds good. <clears throat> but um yeah so um you have any questions so far, Daniel? On like any of the the stuff no no questions right now but i know that the starting is probably gonna be complicated if i you know for me to start yeah yeah I mean, you're going into like the everything that is of of the stock like the growing and i mean how, how do i word it you're talking about like looking at the fundamental analysis looking at like the balance sheets and all that stuff yeah, like, because you, you're going back, okay, well, this is how it was this, you know, this time, you know, months ago, years ago, mm -hmm. and you're checking to see it, it's, like, just the whole rise and fall of it. Yeah, and... Um, so, for me, like, for somebody who's, like, barely getting into stocks, this is kind of, like, wow, you know? A little advanced, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's, all, it's tough, too, you know, like, when we first started going, like, I mean, I don't know, shit, what, our strategies, like, changed ton of times you know what i mean like when i started you know a few years ago to where i am now is like ridiculous you know even last year last year is when i really started getting back into it um and uh it but i think like the most important thing is just to start you know just start doing it 
learn <clears throat> start small you know because you're gonna lose you know so <laughs> start small lose small you know well, it's like it's like shooting a rifle right like aim small miss small you know so it's true like, true same thing you know um and, and you know, i know rich was giving me giving me shit here about my uh portfolio the amount i'm putting in uh, but at one point it, it's rightfully so though, because at one point, like I was putting 40% of my portfolio in each one of these swing, swing stocks, um, which when I, when I won was great, I was making good money. Uh, but like, you know, uh, last month I lost like, I don't know, like 15% of my portfolio, you know, like it was not good. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not good. And your loss is not good. How's it going over there? You you got all logged in? Uh no. I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> not now. It's not. It's because yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It, I wonder if I can go. Can I just go to Safari and like share screen and then have a different browser or what? I mean, you should. Yeah. Let me try that. When you if you have the Safari one open, you hit and then the, just go yeah. back and say. Yeah. All right. You hit the share screen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, know. I don't have. I'm not good with computers. <laughs> oh yeah, you can do like tab and all yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, yeah, so if, you, you hit tab, if you hit tab, just, you can pick the tab on Safari that you have open that you want to share. Don't don't record it. You're you're already doing that, right? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little too late. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do I do? Chrome wants to share content. What you're doing? I'm trying to share it. You hit present. Do the present button. Present now. Uh -huh. Okay, your entire screen. Can you pick a tab or no? Chrome wants to share the contents of your screen with me. Oh, uh, see. So yeah. Okay, okay. I had to select. You can't share your screen. Google Chrome might not have the screen recording permission on your computer. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's, it's Apple. Apple. Yeah. Apple doesn't want to work with Microsoft. I guess. Or I gotta go with system preferences and all this bullshit. Oh jeez. <laughs> you gotta turn it's off one little setting. With the issue presenting, fucking. Yeah. I might one have to. Setting. I might have to get out and go back into Safari. Is all that right. too much? I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I don't give a fuck about the background to be honest. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> I know you're not even using it. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. I don't. I don't care about the tab either. Okay. Uh, did you want? Did you want to try to back out, or did you want to try to? Is it going to work? There is go. that sharing something? Yeah. There you go. All right. I, oh, I can no, see, see our meeting. Am I sharing that? You're sharing. Yes. Our meeting. Yeah. You do you see Trading View? No, I see that your Gmail. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see that tab? Nah. Says Google. We only, we only see your email still. All right. Like that meme yeah, I was on the other day was like, "Can you see my slides now? <laughs> Can you still see my slides?" <laughs> Technology, man. It's, it's so smart, but yet it's so dumb. You want to try to log back in with the uh, Safari thing? Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Right. I'll fuck with this shit later. Okay, we'll be here. I gotta go to system preferences. And... <laughs> yeah. I'll let him grant permissions. Oh, he left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's got it. He'll be back. He'll come back. So, like, um, did you want to tell us what you're doing with uh, your housing stuff? You, you said you were, uh, you had like a, a house. Are you are you using like passive income that way? Yeah, so that's how, I mean, I actually got into the real estate business by accident, I guess, per se. So, like, you know, because uh, my, my first job, I used to be a correction officer. So, I was, you know, I was working oh, okay. in a prison. Yeah. You know, I was making comfortable money for being a, you know, 19, 18-year-old, you know, single man. Yep. So, I was like, yeah, you know, so I started looking around and I found this house on accident. Yeah. Because it wasn't even for sale, like, by any realtor company. I just, one of my All friends, right. he, he knew the homeowner. Yeah, can you? Can you, everybody see me? Yeah. yeah. Get the snuff. It's in the pocket. <laughs> uh, this is... The stuff I throw up my nose. 
right. All right. So this is where this is the last time I was screwed. We don't see anything. Oh, that, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> forgot to fucking share it. There you go. <laughs> Uh, ah, shit. here we go. All right. Well, yeah. we, we see us. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Can you see? I, I see y'all three times. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right. Everybody see the chart? Yeah, we got it. All right. Let's see it. All right. So this is clean energy fuels, right? Yeah. Uh, why I picked this one? Let me think. Hmm. Forgot why I picked it. It was a long time ago. Were you still it was using, back. Were you still like uh, looking at Finviz and like picking them based on based off? Of, do you see? Do you see my Great Dane? Yeah, barely. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> it's in my cargo pocket of my camis. It's a little can. All right. So, yeah, I use Finviz. Let me see. I'll, I'll pull up a Fin. Uh, uh, not Finviz. Uh, yeah, Finviz. I use Finviz to do this. Let me see. So how I do is I go to Screener. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's a lot of green there. All yeah, right. So I go to Screener. I told you Friday was good. Yeah, except for Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> you see the only red one? Yeah. Jesus. All right. So I go to Exchange. Oh, I wouldn't fuck with Exchange. I'd go Market Cap. <clears throat> Thanks. <clears throat> um. So I was experimenting. I think I actually, yeah, I'm logged in here. Um, see how I do this. I forgot how I do this. Save screen test. I think I do test here. So I did like performance up. So I was just trying to, to trying to grab onto some stuff, like uh, pick a winner and then get in, get out, you know? So performance was today was up. So I'm looking for something going up. <clears throat> I'm looking for price under 20 bucks. Cause I want to, I want to, I noticed that, the larger companies or the most more expensive companies when it doesn't, they don't really move crazy amounts. When I, the lower companies like five bucks a share, <clears throat> they can, they can do some crazy movements. So they can jump 20, 30% in a day, like some crazy stuff. So I was, I was messing around with that analyst recommendations. I said, hold or better average volume. So I'm looking over 500 K. So I want some, some volume. I want some movement. And then relative volumes, uh, kind of the same principle as average volume, just a different like type of tracker. And then uh, the pattern, I'm looking for trending line. Daisy, I'm looking for a uh, trending line of support. So anything bounces off support. So then I go to charts and all I do is I just, I'm looking right now, I'm looking for something going up. Now this one here, no good, no good. This one here, no good. This one here. I'm going to take a closer look at this one. Now, what I'm looking for is it goes, it goes up. It's in the middle here, bounces off support, goes up, hits resistance, goes down, hits support, going down the middle here. So this is kind of unpredictable for me, right? I'm like, I don't know. Like this could go up or down. I don't know. So I'm going to keep going through, keep looking. If it was like right here, I would have been like, hmm, that's a good one. I think I might buy into that. And I would expect it to hit resistance around here. And I just keep, all I do is just keep uh, scrolling through and I, uh, I look at all of them. So there's 148. Doesn't take but a couple minutes. You just scroll through, keep looking, you know, no big deal. This one here is going to do something soon. As you can see, it's, yeah. it's fixing a blow. It's going to blow up or down. I don't know. Crazy. And then I just keep. So this one, I don't know. This one's fixing a blow. Uh, it could be to the moon or down to the ground. I don't know. <laughs> so that's that's how I go about picking these, right? So then I, I just pull the trigger. So I'm like, all right, look, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna buy in a CLNE, which was clean at the time. Now these here are just uh, these are my support and resistance channels that I created. So all I did was <clears throat> I just made the line at the at the very tip of the wick <clears throat> and I just dragged it across like this. Um, dragged it across to about this is when I bought into it. So if you just imagine um, it, you all this wouldn't 
you couldn't see anything from here over. So if you just imagine like all oh, this was the only thing I can view. Then um, all I did was stretch out the channel to kind of capture like this guy here and, and maybe like where this one was at. So what it was doing is going through and you can see it kind of bounces off here, goes up, bounces off here, goes down, bounces off, goes down, kind of just does its thing, goes up, 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 bounces off here, goes down. I'm, I'm just trying to capture all this. So these this is the support channel and this is the resistance channel now when i bought into it i was expecting it can you can you guys keep it down well i was expecting it to like bounce off the support but to be honest like i was expecting it to probably bounce off um in this let me see in this blue line here this middle line I was really expecting it to bounce off that middle line. I was just, I had FOMO, right? So fear of missing out. So I was just, and plus I, I don't like to be sitting on the sidelines with cash. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. So I bought into it and I took my chances. I was willing to like, plus I was willing to take a gamble. So it went down. Um, I was expecting to bounce off here, but it ended up going down to my support and it bounced off of the line that I made. Right. So I drew this line and it bounced off my line. That's crazy. So it was like it was pretty I was pretty confident at that, that point that um that my analysis was pretty good. I was like, oh sweet. You know, like hey, I'll I'll just be patient now. So mind you, this was the nineteenth of September and now this is the twenty sixth. So I've been I've been sitting in here watching this son of a bitch go down for six days. Kind of depressing, but it bounced off my support. So now I'm happy. I'm like, okay, now now finally I'm gonna get I'm gonna get what I what I want. Well, what it did is it it went up and it bounced off. You kind of you can cut, probably make a line here, 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 all the way across, and it bounced off out right there. So it it hit a line around right here, and it and it hit resistance right here, and it went down, and it just went past my. Um, my channel so it went past stop setup, right? yeah so th here's here's the uh, one for one ratio now i stretch this thing out to below my channel just to give it some breathing room and i stretch it across and as you can see look it, if you i don't know if i can probably i if i had a mouse it'd be quicker but um it goes it went right past my channel or my one for one ratio and it sold you see that mm -hmm. it triggered a sell right there hit my stop <laughs> i went out as you can see 22 percent loss i was pretty <laughs> damn bummed down at that time and then it went down a little further the next day and then it literally went to the moon shot straight up <laughs> and i was like son of a bitch because if you just imagine how, if I stretched it down just the ass hair, yep. you know, yep. it was, it wouldn't have triggered that stop. Yep. So this is when I was like, you know what? Like, that's when I started to look into covered calls. I was just doing some research and stuff. And uh, this was the last technical analysis that I did. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I did hit some winners. This one's kind of a quick, funky one. This one's, this one uh, is new, so how I did it. So, like, you can see here bounced off and then here bounced off. And that's where I drew that line there, and I stretched it up to the very top. So this is a huge channel. So, And what, what these are for, really, is kind of give me – it's just a guideline to place my one-for-one -one ratio. Now, this channel was like – let's just say um, – let's see if I can mess with it. If this channel was like – Oh, it's locked. Let me see. I'll unlock it. So if this channel was like down here, like the chances of hitting this right here to me is not very good. You know, that's just not a very high possibility. But this is a pretty huge channel. This is the biggest channel that I've ever made. Normally I don't make them this big, but um so it, it just gave me the warm and fuzzy that I was definitely going to hit this guy. And I figured I would. I, it looks like a winner, but as you can see, it just barely went past that damn stop.
triggered the sale, and I'm out. Now, if you look here, this hit some resistance right below my um, my limit. So I wouldn't I wouldn't have got it. That's twenty two percent is tough. Like I've seen that before. I know. Even yeah. in mine, like twenty two. Yeah, like, I know. So I, I was really yeah. You're right. This was like a huge gamble, and I even when I pushed twenty two percent buy in, I knew like I was taking a huge risk, and and I I got hit. So yeah, um, yeah I'm with you. Yeah. That's why lately yeah. I've, been, I've been trying to stay around like nine percent. Like not, I feel like nine percent is like uh, achievable. Like in the short term, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think uh, if I do get into it, I don't think I'm going to be messing around with double digits anymore. <laughs> it's just pretty uh, pretty intimidating. So I'm going to go into covered calls here real quick. Yeah, Let me log into Charles Schwab. Dang, you got all that? How much was all that? I thought this was different from that. But not. Looks like a damn sushi restaurant. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, trade, chains. Hey, turn one of these lights on for me. All right. Okay. Wow. You're presenting your screen. Okay. Could you see that? Yeah, we see it. Yeah, we can see it. Options okay. Change. Options change. So, so this is what I've been. This is what I'm getting into, right? So, I got a hundred shares in Google, and I got a hundred shares in Amazon. I moved my money around. I uh, sold some stuff. I bought some stuff, you know. And and it is what it is. But I got a lot wrapped up in these two companies. Obviously, a hundred shares in Google is like, it's it's a large percent of my portfolio. I want to say it's, I'm I'm in the ballpark of forty percent of my portfolio overall in these two companies. But the thing with covered calls is um, you got to buy into a company that you are comfortable holding on to for long term. So if it goes down, you are still OK with holding it and waiting. So I, I, I'm comfortable with Google and Amazon. I don't think they're going to be like plummeting uh, and staying down for a very long time if they do drop. So I think I'll be all right. I'll just need to be patient occasionally, but I also noticed these, those higher, higher, uh, what are they called? Um, like market cap type of companies. They, they offer larger, uh, covered call pr uh, premiums. So if you were to buy in this cheap company, like $4 a share or something, you, you're going to get a whopping a dollar for a premium. You know, it's pretty ridiculous. So I'm looking, I want like a $200 kind of premium now. <laughs> Over what so if you go period? all right so here's here's google it's right now it's at 96 bucks um i currently purchased it let me give me a second here so i i'm not lying y'all let's see i i per, i currently purchased it at my average is about 103 dollars and 82 cents so obviously I'm 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 lost. Like I'm down seven point two six percent right now in Google. But um, come Monday I'm gonna start looking to buy into a. I'm gonna buy no I'm gonna sell a uh, a covered call. So I own the hundred shares. So I'm gonna tell I'm gonna be like all right look. Um, let's see I'm gonna do. So right now I I'm a hundred and three dollars right hundred three dollars and eighty six cents. So I don't want to like sell a covered call below what I actually owe right now, or, or I don't want to take a loss. So at a minimum, very minimum, I'm going to set my, uh, my covered call to like what I purchased it for originally. In this case, it would probably be the $104 right now. So, so I'd say, all right, look, I'm going to sell a covered call for $104. And I would get a whopping 10 bucks. Now that's not very good, right? Um, and it's, it, it's solely because of the fact that I'm down right now. Um, if I was, let's say that I bought. And, and because of the time, right? Cause that's saying like in six days. So like the probability of it going back up to 
$104 in six days is kind of low. Right, exactly. So here are the different options. You got six, 13, 20. You can, I, you can keep going. I, I believe you can get up to like 300 something days or something like that. But the way I look at it is, okay, six days, right? Let's do 104, six days, 10 bucks. So if you do the math, um, let me see here. So 10, five by six. So, so a dollar, dollar 60 a day, right? Um, so that's not very good, you know? And then uh, like 13 days, you're looking at a whopping, so 36 bucks divided by 13, that's 276 a day. And then 20 days, you know, I'd have to go in a higher op, more choice in now, so all so 20 days, 20 days, Let's see those are, sixty six bucks divided by twenty so that's three bucks a day but these are all like pretty shitty so um, <clears throat> a better example right now is because it's it, again it's because I'm low now let's say next month um, Google is current is trading at um, you know let's say it's trading at hundred and fifteen dollars a share right now I bought it for 103. Well, no, it's, there's no way it's going to go. Let's say 30 days, it's going to be like $105 a share. Okay. So now I'm above, I'm already in the green. Now let's say, so let's, let's pretend like this is, let's say, um, let's say I bought it for $94 a share. Okay. And right now it's at 96. Well, I'm okay to sell it for obviously 96 because, um, you know, I'm already, I'm already going to make money regardless, but I won't, I'll make it, I'll make it a little more challenging. So I, I might go to 80 bucks or something, $99 a share. So it's 80 bucks and you got 80 divided by six. So that's, that's like 13 bucks a day. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, but, um, uh, this is like, I'm just starting doing this. So I'm still learning. I do know that the other one these Greeks here, uh, Amazon, are you, so, are you so now? these, gr yeah, no. So, so what I did is I purchased, um, a covered call for Google and I did 32 days, a covered call. Oh. Now I got, I got, um, $172 for that covered call the premium. and yeah, the premium and then Google dropped after earnings and I bought it back. I bought that covered call back yeah. for 17 bucks. <laughs> so I pocketed like 150 bucks. Yeah. So that happens too, you know, yeah, like yeah. you can buy it back. So, um, so the Greeks here, I look at the, uh, the Delta and the Delta basically tells you like the chances that it's going to, your covered call is going to sell, right? You're going to get called. And there's a 22% chance it's going to get called at a hundred bucks in six days. You know, it just keeps getting lower and lower. So that, that's kind of, I mean, it's kind of interesting. So like 97, if I buy a sell a covered call for six days, there's like a 45% chance it's going to get called. So based off this information, uh, it doesn't look like Google's going to be going up. I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah. We'll have to see how it plays out. Yeah, so when I do a – when I buy into again, well, come Monday. So these things change, like, just like the market. They yeah. change literally at – you can watch it change. Because you can trade contracts too. Yeah, I haven't gotten into that. Yeah. Uh, Crawshaw Cross does that, I guess. So here's here's Amazon. Right now it's at $103 a share. Um, bad thing about Amazon is it just reported earnings and it drops. So I bought it for one twenty two. So yeah, yeah, I got screwed from Amazon. Amazon dropped thirteen percent or some shit. It gapped way down. Yeah. Wow. So in this case, like, 
I'll be happy to get a dollar a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it, it is what it is. I mean, I'm just holding it for now. You know, it's like whatever. But, yeah. Uh, the, the, what I worry about is if I sell it for a dollar a day right now and then it goes up 15% in three days, well, that same call could be worth like $75. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I would, I would end up like wishing I would have waited, you know? <laughs> yeah. So in this case, like I'm way out of the money. So I make six bucks for six days. So a dollar a day, you know, <laughs> that's crazy. So that, that's the downside about covered calls is when it goes down, you're, you're kind of stuck with it, but let's let's just imagine though that i've had amazon for a year yeah. and you know i'm positive 30 percent in each yeah. i can have fun with these covered calls you know you yeah. can, you can have fun with this and even if you do lose out like let's say it does trigger a sale like oh well you know you're you're still gonna walk away with 15 percent or whatever you know yeah exactly well i think we're running out of time on our call here i just feel like a notification yeah, mine says eight minutes left. Yeah, but uh, all right. Well, we'll uh, do this again real soon.